You know what? For a stained glass window, you're a real pain in my ass. Girl, you don't know what you're talking about. I can see right through you. Well, honey, I ain't listening. I don't give a notre damn what y'all say. Hey, look, it's starting without us. Who is that? How in the hell do I know? But she's gone and left that baby on the steps of the church. about children, but it must be a sin to look at this one. You there! What is that, huh? What have you found on church property? Show me at once. beginning to wonder whether he's more saucer than priest. We've been watching this new priest for all of Saint Christopher, won't one of you take this foundling and raise it as your own? Throw it into the water or into the fire. That child is an abomination. Nonsense. As a Christian, show compassion. Do you think that God won't hear every child made in his ear? Is a child that God holds dear. He has told you that he loves you. His commandments all are clear. As a Christian, show compassion, shed a shape of its back. It's only half form. <laughs> it's what I know, Joe. <laughs> That's the devil's child. Where's your Christian compassion now, Frollo? I adopt this child for the church. Or Notre Dame itself. Damn, got his hunchback. Frollo adopted and baptized that baby, calling him Quasimodo, which means half finished. Frollo kept the boy in the belfry of the cathedral, cut off from the world. Quasimodo lived in the church for so long, he became part of the building itself. And as the years passed, people began to forget the story of the abandoned baby. Until 20 years later, if you ask anyone about the hunchback in the belfry, they'll tell you that one of the gargoyles suddenly came to life. Seriously. 